how do you USD weekly analysis where if there is a pair that sometimes is very slow is Audi USD. But this pair, by the way, I really recommend beginners. I really recommend beginners. You can never go wrong with Audi USD. So Audi USD um, is a very good pair for the beginners and let's analyze it from the weekly analysis and the weekly time frame. Uh, let's do weekly analysis from the weekly time frame and for me, what I can tell you guys is that uh, there's so much, so much going on with this pair, because if you look at it from the weekly chart, this market, it's like it has been ranging and it is difficult to trade a market that is inside a range. Very difficult, guys. Sometimes you may think, oh, it's coming to break a zone and then it goes down. Again, you say, ah, it's breaking and then it keeps ranging. So what I uh, have, I can tell you for sure on the Audi USD, what I can tell you for sure is that it can continue going up. It can continue going up. And because I have identified my cell zone, uh, it, is, it is very, very delicate because once you identify your cell zone, many people will ask me, Esther, how do you identify your cell zone? Let me tell you guys, that is what I teach in my class and in my course. So uh, when I tell you this is a cell zone, if you want to know how to identify that cell zone, kindly do it by my strategies or by my course. So we are approaching a cell zone and what we understand by a cell zone is that the market, um, you can see this line is a cell zone. Just see, this line is a cell zone. When the market approached this line, you can see how the market sold and uh, the market was selling. So if it approached this line, the market keeps selling, you can see. So this is a sell zone and it means that there is something that can happen in this market. And yeah, so we want to see, will the market, uh, how will it react on this sell zone? That's what I'm saying, how DUSD, we can see it pushing to the sell zone of 68.53, so it can continue selling. If, if, and I'm saying, if the market starts to come down like it wants to retrace, uh, it can either come to this area or when we go to lower time frame, like daily for hour, we will have other support zones and where the market can come to, but this is the overall area that the market can come and then maybe it can come to complete this. You see, it left a very big week. So if this market will continue ranging, these are the, the two zones the market will come. So in short, what I'm trying to say, how do USD from the weekly time frame? We have no clue what it wants to do. We have no clue. But this, this week, the market had bought with 135 pips and the entry was given so well. And it's because of the planning of the barrier and um, all that, uh, losing someone you love, I have not been in the market for some time. And that's why I lost that entry. Because by the time I'm coming back, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking uh, it has already left me, but the market went up with 135 pips. It had a very good setup. Yeah, so the buy has gone with 135 pips. So what are we expecting the last week? For the monthly candle to close on Audi USD. For me, what I can say is that uh, Audi USD is not a pair that you just enter because you want to enter. From the weekly time frame, there's nothing we are being told that this market wants to do. And you see, when weekly time frame, there's nothing uh, to to work on. What we just need to do is to either use daily for entry or for hour. So when I will be doing daily analysis using Audi USD we can now think of how do we enter short terms entry. So don't find yourself out DSD next week holding it. If it starts taking you on drawdown, look for exit because markets that weekly are not confirming, they are very dangerous to trade. So anytime you find yourself that, uh, you find yourself, you are in a position where that, you have traded out USD and it's going against you, 
I think the, the good thing to do with that is to cancel that trade. Okay, guys. So having the market almost touching our sell zone is something that it's making me believe that the market can push. Another thing, what do you think of these two candles? These are Marubo's momentum candles. So from the momentum candles, I'm just I'm just uh predicting the market can continue to give us that momentum. So it can continue to give us momentum. So we cannot buy, we cannot sell from the weekly analysis. Why? Because if you buy and the market tends to retrace, you might lose big time. So unless the market gives us more confirmation, uh, we are not holding our DSD. I'm not saying you don't trade it, but don't hold it. Don't hold it. So sometimes uh, if we get such a candle, you see this candle, this candle is called a spinning top. If this week we get a spinning top, we will know that buyers have a week are uh, being depleted, the, the, the strength to push up is uh, ending, is coming to an end. But there's no way you can look for sell with this big candle. So how do you SD? Avoid, avoid selling. And if at all you will sell, how do you SD? What you can do and the advice I can tell you is don't hold for too long. If you're selling, just sell like a scalper, the way you get 20, 30 pips, okay? So we just need to... We just need to understand where the market is. There is nothing that is making this market to have a kind of rejection. So we will be waiting for the for the next uh, market. So I will give you a, an example. I will I will I will back test for you guys. Let's say you have these. These are two candles, like the way we have right now. And weekly, we have seen there's nothing you can do because it is not giving us more information. But if we go to four hour, I want to show you how now you combine time frames. So if you go to four hour, you will tend to see that the market has um, a support area. Can you see? The market has a support area. And because this red candle has followed by green, we have a new support there. So sometimes, Weekly may not give you an entry, but when you use lower time frame, the market is on the ranging side. Okay, guys. So even if I'm doing weekly analysis, I have not said that on lower time frame they cannot happen. It's just that when you're going to four hour, you even don't have a clue what the markets want to do. It's easier when weekly has confirmed to you the market is a sale. You're only looking for entry on four hour. When the market has confirmed is a sell on weekly and now you're looking for entry, even if you make errors, you will be redeemed or you'll be able to escape. But imagine on four, you're looking for confirmation if the market is a buy or sell. It is the hardest thing to do. And this is what we are doing. So you can see that the market is, um, is at that point where it has broken this uh, support and what happens is that immediately it breaks support. Can you see? Immediately it breaks support. Majority of people will enter that. Can you see? So majority of people will come here and they will enter this sale. They will enter this sale. Because, oh, see, it has broken support. But after breaking support, immediately it comes up. That's how it happens when you trade on four hour when there is no confirmation. You are like a guesswork. That's what I'm saying. When you come to the weekly time frame, once weekly has not given you, uh, weekly has not given you a go ahead to trade on four, it's like a 50 50 chance. That's what I'm saying. When you are, when the market is here, it is almost tapping the sell zone. It's not like we have a double top, a pattern, or anything. We're just there. So, how do you see what I can tell you guys is that be careful and we will be doing daily analysis for our analysis because weekly there is nothing you see this momentum one two three three weeks the market has bought most probably the retracement will be deep this retracement will be deep and i said i don't want to go on the daily but you can see the support zones where the market can retrace to you can see but these areas, they are not visible. You cannot see them on the weekly. That's what I'm saying. This area, this support 
both supports are not visible on the weekly. And that's what I'm saying. When you see three momentum candle happening on the weekly, you have now to combine other time frames to be able to know. And it is the hardest thing to trade. When weekly has not given you a go ahead, trying to trade using other time frames is the hardest. But anyway, all the best in your trading. Let me hear your thoughts on Audi USD. What do you think the market will do on Audi USD? After given three weeks of buying momentum, do you think it will come to a point it retraces? Do you think it will do that? Anyway, comment down below and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.